Hello, Zaychi here. Today we're going to start assembling our Hypercube Infinite Z 3D printer. I started by printing the Hypercube plastic parts in uh, PETG. This is red PETG from Aurorum. Next I printed the conveyor belt supports in grey PETG also from Aurorum. Here you can see the bottom part of the gearbox being printed onto the conveyor support directly. Printing PETG at 240 makes it nice and shiny. These come out beautiful. These are the feet that I printed. You can see inside there are T slot nuts to hold the uh, beams in place and also on the other side. So the 2020 beam just slides into that slot that I've made in the print in the foot and then you just lock it with a nut. The same on the other side. Uh, the short legs for the uh, printer just simply slides in there and on the other side as well. These will also be locked with a T slot nut. And on the top goes the standard um, hypercube, what is that, the y, y direction. I'm just tighten this nut up a bit. So I'm still waiting for, the, for my aluminum extrusion to arrive in the post. So I've got one long leg long enough. And on the other side, I'm still waiting for for the aluminium. Hopefully, it'll come this week. Okay. Next, the conveyor belt holder I split into two, so you can print it on a 200 by 200 bed. And I made a little B there, so on the right hand side, and then you've got a B, and to line it up, and on the left hand side will be an A. The conveyor support will be a belt in place through these holes on the aluminum extrusion and those two holes here at the top is where the heated bed goes. So I've got these two nuts, uh, these two pieces here with the T-start nuts on them and they simply go onto the the aluminum extrusion like this and I'll screw them in position. Then I take the other piece, line up the B's, and the other side would be the A's, and screw it into position. This is as far as I can go without the aluminium extrusions that's still in the post. I'm also waiting for my electronics from Banggood and from AliExpress. So like and subscribe. Thank you.